to view can also be used with multiple separate Im image uh, viewers which are linked and we'll show you how to do that. So we've got in a directory with a whole bunch of different images and in this case processing Sentinel-2. This is the help system for uh, to view and we're going to use the separate option so that will open each image in a separate viewer. We'll then use the star um, switch so this is going to be all of the images the to uh, top of atmosphere images which haven't had any cloud masking applied so we want to open all of them this is going to be three images in this case so by hitting enter we now have three and two of you windows open each with a different image uh, within so two of you has a useful feature uh, where you can tile the windows in this case we're going to do it with three across and one down so they'll all be lined up together we now have to sort the stretch out uh, for each of those windows but first you'll see that the images are linked so as we zoom one then or pan one you can see that all three of them move together so we could have sorted the stretch out um, on the um, terminal by giving options of which uh, um, bands and which stretch that we wanted to display it. but in this case we'll do it from the uh, through the interface um, for each image in turn you'll see that uh, as part of this it's actually resized uh, the two view window so it can fit everything in but we'll retile it later and sort that out So we'll tile the windows again. In this case, we just left it automatic. So the automatic is a, a grid, but uh, I think we still want it in the three by one. So we'll set three by one. We'll now look at some pixel values. So we can use the, the tool there to uh, actually look at some values. And just by double clicking on top of the, the query window, it locks it into the display window, which is quite useful. Now, as you click on a pixel within the image viewer, you can see that it, it puts the point and puts the cursor to the same point in all of the images. So we're now looking at the, the same pixel value in each image. If we change them over to the plot tab, then you can see the spectral curve for those images. <laughs> 